What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to my Let's Play of WWE SmackDown vs. Raw, that PS2 game playing it through a PC emulator, and it is time for the Royal Rumble match. I think I'm number 30? I don't actually know, but I think I'm number 30, so let's do this Royal Rumble. Oh, there's the big show. He's very big. And there I am doing a thing. Yeah, big show. That totally happened. That was definitely a... Yup, that totally happened. I mean, we had that triple threat, but I don't see Taker in here at all. So, there's the elbow drop again. Again, apparently I'm Shane McMahon. Oh, choke slam on the stage. Solid steal. Good God Almighty. That's it. And here is your Royal Rumble Pyro... Jim Ross and Jerry the King Lawler, back when they had that commentator table at the ramp, like they have it now, which is funny. The Royal Rumble is here. Welcome to this Wait. live pay-per-view event and a what? joint promotion of SmackDown and Raw. And what a show it's going to be, folks. I'm Michael Cole, here with my broadcast partner, Taz. So there are two announce tables. I would assume SmackDown and the Spanish announce table are at ringside, and the Raw team announce table is at on the stage? Is that what's happening here? Cole, I mean, you know this. The Royal Rumble is one of my favorite pay-per-views of all time. I mean, yours truly debuted at the Royal Rumble. 30 SmackDown superstars and Raw superstars battling it out over the top rope in a battle wall for a title opportunity before WrestleMania. Yes, Taz did debut at the Royal Rumble in Madison Square Garden. I was there. It was awesome. That that place that that, that place exploded. It was fantastic. It's the only place you'll see SmackDown and Raw superstars in the same ring, unless you happen to be watching SmackDown this last Thursday. Yep. That was bad, Cole, but it might get worse. Tonight's Royal Rumble match might be the first step in Eric Bischoff's master plan to steal the WWE title from SmackDown at WrestleMania. Nah. We can only hope that a loyal SmackDown superstar wins the Rumble tonight. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm... Me too, Cole. Me too. Elsewhere on this show, Trish Stratus defeats Stacey Keebler. Randy Orton retains his title against Kane... And now it is time for the Royal Rumble match. Well then, you think you know me. You think you know me. You know what I allow you to know. Or, you know, on this day, I should That kind of stuff. Yep, here's Edge. This was before he was the rated R superstar, so Tony Chimmel did not do his uh, usual shtick there. I guess Edge number one. And who is number two? Woo! It's the Nature Boy. Styling and profiling. Making his way to the ring from Charlotte, North Carolina, the Nature Boy, Rick Flair. Woo! Limousine riding, jet flying, kiss stealing, wheeling, dealing, son of a gun, the dirtiest player in the game. Nate. And again, the all-new ring-out meter that I really failed at, uh, at that Royal, Royal Rumble that happened at Survivor Series in this game, so... Tajiri! Tajiri! Wait, I have to watch the whole Rumble? They're not just gonna go to where I'm at? That's... really? Alright, well, education. Or education, or whatever that's called. We'll see how this goes, uh, so I guess I have things to discuss here as I'm gonna sit here and, like, legit watch this whole Rumble match unfold. And there's really only one news story, there's John Cena, today. And there's only really one thing that is going to be the topic of discussion today, and it is, goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Yeah, I'm sure you've, attitude adjustment, I'm sure you've heard by now. Uh, that Bad Blood, which was the original July pay-per-view, uh, for WWE, has been renamed to WWE Great Balls of Fire. Please, YouTube, don't flag this video of me saying balls over and over again, because that's not my intention to be foul, but whatever. Um, 
Yeah, that's a... What? Like, alright. So, the song, Great Balls of Fire, uh, would have been a top-charting radio hit when Vince McMahon was around the age of 11 or so. Uh, and so perhaps he just likes that song a whole lot. But that's a really weird name for a pay-per-view, unless, unless you are somehow booking an Inferno match. And to be fair, if you're booking an Inferno match, sure, call it Great Balls of Fire. But there hasn't been a pay-per-view name this lame since, like, In Your House, Beware of Dog. Or In Your House, Revenge of the Taker. Like, they used to have some really lame In Your House names. Um, but man, Great Balls of Fire is... Uh, I could not even have guessed that. If you said, hey, what do you think they're going to rename Bad Blood? I would not have guessed a song from uh, 1957 or so. That seems... Or 56? Something like that. It's an old song. Uh, and... If they somehow do not get that song for their pay-per-view, then what was the point? You know? What was the point? But also, if you're having an Inferno match, and Kane's on SmackDown, and also Kane's running for mayor, uh, so you're not going to have Kane in it, so who else do you have in a potential Inferno match in 2017? Bray Wyatt? Like, I don't really know what the intention is here for this pay-per-view concept. Like, uh, okay, I get it. You don't want to call it bad blood, because then people will assume that it's going to have a first blood match, which obviously you can't do those anymore because of your, you know, advertisers and, uh, sponsors and everything else, they don't want to see, they don't want to see intentional bleeding. If it happens, if it happens accidentally, okay, sure, get the super glue, glue it up, you know, or when they had Randy Orton, uh, get busted open the hard way by Brock, by Brock, Brock's elbow at, uh, SummerSlam, or, you know, SummerSlam, um, then, sure, fine. That was, that was actually, at this point, almost a year ago. Um, and, alright, you know, but they don't ever want to be under the impression that they're going to be intentionally, uh, blading anymore, because that's not a PG thing to do, and et cetera, et cetera. And sure, okay, fine, whatever. But, if you're going to call it Great Balls of Fire, and there aren't going to be Great Balls of Fire, then that seems like a complete and total waste of everyone's time. And I think the bigger concern is the fact that uh, the way that they script promos for all their guys means they're all going to have to work in that name into their promos. For God's sake, they had The Undertaker being like, at the ultimate thrill ride. Like, that, it was dumb. It was dumb. So, uh, I'm not looking forward to everyone having to execution, uh, get that in their, you know, promos and whatnot. But, more importantly, uh, outside of the ridiculous name, and it is ridiculous, that is the July pay-per-view. And that will be the first, first title defense for your Universal Champion, Brock Lesnar. Which means he won the belt at WrestleMania. He's not defending it at Payback. He's not, not defending it at Extreme Rules in June. He's defending it in July at Great Balls of Fire. Uh, I am not looking forward to hearing Paul Heyman mention Great Balls of Fire in his promos over and over and over. Now, I love Paul Heyman. He's fantastic. One of the best talkers in the business, period. But the name is just so dumb. It's just so dumb. So, again, the 30-day rule does not matter. Uh, and, well, no. I'm sorry. It only matters when they say it matters. Testify! Because they've definitely said, oh, well, if you can't defend in 30 days, we're going to have to we're going to have to take your belt. And I'm like, yeah, but Brock Lesnar just goes home and eats Jimmy John's and, you know, shoots groundhogs on, on his on his farm or whatever it is he does. F5's coyotes or whatever, and he doesn't defend it. So don't use the excuse of the 30-day rule when clearly it does not apply to Brock Lesnar. Or, hey, maybe the 30-day rule 
is like wellness testing. And if you're a part-timer, it doesn't actually matter. That would not surprise me. Basically, it's all Vince's playground, and therefore Vince will do what Vince wants to do with the world he has created, and because Vince has the final word, the final say in every decision that gets made, and he tends to micromanage pretty hard, um, then that's just kind of how things are going to go, and they won't change until Vince is no longer running things, which won't be until he dies because he's not going to ever stop because he's Vince McMahon. The combination of them saying, oh yeah, here's the name of the, of, of the show, and oh yeah, we're not going to have Brock defend until this show was kind of just a, a one-two punch there of just like, what, what, what are you even, I, I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. Anyway, man, that was a bit of a rant. Uh, welcome to Saturday. I am at home on Saturday. I am not in Philadelphia, surprisingly enough, uh, because some schedule changes happened last minute, and unfortunately, uh, I was not able to get out there because, uh, things got, a, 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 there was some schedule bookings that got doubled up, unfortunately, and, uh, so I'm just not there. So, the plan is now next Saturday. Next Saturday. Fingers crossed. Uh, cause I've been trying to get this, get this done for like a month, but the one thing you learn when you do enough YouTube is that scheduling is the hardest thing, uh, among people on YouTube just because it's, it's real rough. It's having to get together a bunch of individuals for any kind of, you know, length of time to do things, uh, is always tricky, especially when Alabama Slamma, when they when they all have their own channels and you know their own schedules and lives and etc cetera, etc. Cetera. So unfortunately, uh, I am home today, uh, and which means I can get more work done for this channel. Um, but yeah, that that ended up not happening. So look, for those of you who are looking forward to more Echo Mod content, it is coming. Fingers crossed, month of May. Uh, but it won't be happening uh, until I can actually get myself over there and film some things, uh, which is now the plan is for next Saturday, so there's that. And at this point, with 16 men remaining, I think it's time to jump cut myself to where I come in the match, because this is going to take another 10 minutes at least of just watching the CPU fight each other. And here are your final competitors 20 minutes later, like insanely 20 minutes later uh so i was able to, to to do some reading in those 20 minutes and doing some reading i learned that i can use my finisher as a last chance escape from uh being thrown out of the ring uh so that's kind of super important that is actually really significant uh in being able to do that uh, but we'll see if i can actually make that you know Use that to my advantage, because uh, that's a good reason that they start you with a finisher. So, uh, a lot of main event talent in here, uh, which is good. Uh, I mean, we'll see how it plays out, but uh, I think the chances of me actually winning are still, you know, slim and none. But I'd like to win the Royal Rumble. I'd like to... Oh, there goes Batista. Uh, so, I also learned, if you do enough damage to a guy uh if an, enough damage is done then uh oops nope 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 see used it used it uh if enough damage is done then uh they'll pretty much get thrown out immediately so uh doing damage also important not just you know uh what you have to deal with in the ring out scenarios so i don't know we'll see how it goes uh nope nope Nope. Screw that. Screw that, Shawn Michaels. German suplex. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna go over here. There are five, or yeah, there are five guys, so if I just sit here and spam taunt, and no, no. That was a bad idea. It was a bad idea. Here's Shawn Michaels. Alright, final four. Somehow Christian is in the final four. Uh, that's intriguing. So, if I could... Like, I'm not good at the Irish Whips. And you would think, with Christian being so low... Oops. Oh, wow. Christian getting dirty. 
with with Christian being oh there go there's H B K, and here goes Triple H, me and Christian. Oops, I meant to. Well, I meant to do a lot of things in this video game, but that was not one of them. Uh. -huh. Yeah, you guys fight it out. I'm gonna sit here and taunt for a little bit, and if I can get my finisher up, uh, then. I'll be in a much better position to deal with, uh, whoa, Christian, to deal with Triple H. Nope. Leave me, uh, there we go. Lone. I need a finisher. There we go. All right. So now I have, oh, there's, there's Triple H doing his thing. Um, honestly, if me and Triple H could get Christian here, uh, oh no, and make that happen, um, or no, if, if me and Christian could get Triple H here and make that happen. Uh, doesn't seem to be the case, but if we could, uh, I have a much better chant. Crap. Crap. Great. Pedigree. So, again, the amount of damage you have, uh, on his damn head. Screw you, Triple H. Hey, Christian, give me, oh, uh, really? A double team? Or something? No? Just doing the knee? Christian, get, get, get in there. Get in there. I need all the safety possible for not getting thrown out of this ring. Give me all the safety. Why you guys gotta go near me? Seriously. Why? Wah! Oh, there goes Christian. Crap. Well, it's me and the game. And if I can do enough damage to the game, then maybe I can win this match. Uh, I have my doubts. But... He's taken some damage. I'm just... Ding! Right in the Jimmy Johns. If I can get him all the way red on... Some... Throw him out! Why won't you Irish whip? I swear I'm hitting what should... Alright, two finishers. There we go. There! Holy shit! did it! I did it! I won the rumble! It happened! I'm still walking! For now. Damn Skippy Hippie, a SmackDown superstar <laughs> came through right where we needed it. Every Raw uh, match is just awesome, but I think this one takes the cake. Taz just said, damn Skippy Hippie. Are you kidding me right now? Tell me he did not just say that. 45 minutes later, the Royal Rumble match is done. I am your host, Attack Slug. Thanks for watching. More videos every day, and I'll see you next time right here on this channel, and I'm out. <laughs>